everyone, my name is Leonie and welcome to another video. Today, I'm gonna do a book. I'm not gonna do a book, I'm gonna do a video. <laughs> Today, I'm gonna do a video talking about the books that I DNF'd or did not finish. I have two disclaimers before I start this video. First is the fact that I DNF'd a book does not necessarily have to mean that I didn't like it. Books that I DNF'd usually just weren't for me or I just wasn't feeling it. It doesn't mean that I hate the book and it also definitely doesn't mean that you can read the book. And the second thing is that I realize there's a lot of very popular books on this list so there's quite a chance that I'm going to mention a book that you really loved that I didn't finish. Um, I just want to say don't try to convince me to continue it because I won't. So yeah, let's get into it. First, I want to talk about all the books that I DNF'd before 100 pages. When I decide to not continue a book before I have read 100 pages, I don't officially consider it a DNF because most of the time this is due to the fact that I just wasn't feeling it. And then when I read more than 100 pages, then I do officially count it as a DNF because then usually there's a specific reason why I decided to not continue reading. So the first one that I'm gonna mention is just like easily hitting it with the popular books but that is An Ember in the Ashes by Sabatay here. I picked this one up because I it was very hyped up and I started reading it and I think I got 70 pages into the book. I actually did think it was a very good book but the reason I DNF'd it was simply because I just didn't feel like reading in dystopian. And I got it from the library, so that's why I never picked it up again, because I don't own it. Second book that I want to mention, kind of the same thing, and that is The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. I was very excited to get into this last year around Halloween time, and I started reading it. Oh, I remember specifically I started reading this in the Dutch translation, because the English translation was not available at my library. And I think I got 50 pages in and then also stopped because I just wasn't feeling it, mostly because it was translated. I really think that The Raven Boys is a book that most people love because of the writing style, so I just thought to myself, maybe I should not read the translated version. So that's why I returned it. And now I'm still waiting for a moment where I ever get my hands on the actual original English written book. The next one that I DNF'd under 100 pages is A Legacy by Kayla Kluver. I started reading this book I think last year during Booktubeathon. This is a book written by a 17 year old girl and that's mostly the reason that I wanted to read it because I was like, whoa, that's really cool that a 17 year old girl can publish a book. But I started reading it and I just didn't like it. <laughs> it just felt like the, the most generic fantasy story that I had ever read, just like, you know, with a prince and she has to marry this prince from another kingdom and it just I just wasn't feeling it because it felt like I wasn't reading anything new. And the last book that I DNF'd under 100 pages, I think, is the book that I DNF'd at, like, the quickest point, and that is actually uh, Queen of Shadows by Sarah J Maas. I DNF'd this book after 15 pages. I really enjoyed the rest of the Throne of Glass series, but I picked up this book and I was reading it and I just realized that I didn't care and then I thought to myself, do I really want to commit to 640 pages of characters that I don't really care about? No, so I put it away. Yeah. Kind of a shame because Throne of Glass is a very popular book, but there are so many other books that I could read and I don't have time to read everything, unfortunately. Now let's move on to the books that I've actually like officially DNF'd. The first one, and I think this is also the first book that I ever DNF'd, is Destined by April and Pike. This is the fourth book in the Wings series by April and Pike and this is actually the very first young adult book series that I started reading and I was totally into it but then when the fourth book came out I had already predicted what was going to happen in the end and for some reason it's been a very long time since I DNF'd this book but for some reason I was just like halfway through and suddenly realized that I didn't care about what was going to happen next. Yeah it's kind of a shame that the first young adult series that I ever read I never finished. 
The next one is kind of a difficult story, and that is Shatter Me by Jehara Mafi. Remember, I started reading it together with a friend of mine, and when we initially started reading it, we both didn't like it, so we stopped around like 50 pages into it, but then about a year later, I picked it up again, suddenly realizing that this book was actually pretty fun and I totally enjoyed reading it and I think I was over halfway into the book totally enjoying it but then we had to read some books for school so I put it down again telling myself I was gonna pick it up when I finished all my school reading but then when I finished all my school reading it had already been such a long time since I started reading this book that I kind of forgot about it so I still haven't finished it and I don't think I ever will because it's just been such a long time. And another book that I DNF'd is... <sighs> Why are there so many popular books on this list? I'm very sorry guys. But that is City of Glass by Cassandra Clare. I really enjoyed City of Bones. Then I picked up City of... Oh, I mean City of Ashes. Then I picked up City of Ashes and I was just not feeling it. I think this is the main reason. I think the exact moment where I stopped reading this book was during a- oh wait, there is still a bookmark in here. Yep, this is like I exactly stopped reading this book during a like romantic scene between Jace and Clary and I just remember that there was a lot of romance in this book and I really couldn't take it because I was just very freaked out by the whole incest thing and I was just like, oh no, I can't, I can't, I can't read this, I can't, I, no. So that's why I stopped reading it. I'm sorry. Another book that I didn't finish is Shiver by Maggie Stiefvater. Again, this has been a very long time ago. I remember reading this one, kind of enjoying it, but then um, I went on holiday. So I couldn't take the library book with me because I had to return it. So I returned it and never finished it. That was a really weak story. <laughs> But that's the reason why I never finished Shiver. And the last book that I DNF'd is actually a recent one, and that is River Keep by Martin Stewart. I bought this clearly because of the beautiful cover and because it promised me pirates. The reason that I DNF'd it was because I couldn't get through it. First of all, I didn't like the main character. I felt like pretty much all the conflict in the story was caused by the main character doing something really stupid that could have easily been avoided so i was just constantly very annoyed by our main character a lot of things in this book were pretty cool like there were sea monsters a lot of very interesting fantasy aspects the problem is that half of them were never explained like all these words would be used to refer to magical sea creatures and i would have no idea what they looked like what they were what they did because they were never described and i was just constantly confused also <laughs> This is a really stupid reason, I know, but all the characters talk in, you know, like the pirate accent. So then, let me get a, an example. All the dialogue in this book was literally written like this. I'm just gonna do a very, very, very bad pronunciation. But we could no be passing, my boy. Time feels long for the young, but we don't worry. You'll no be young for long. I was just constantly like, what are they saying? I don't understand this. So I was just constantly very confused and that's why I DNF'd it. And the last one that I want to talk about is one that is debatable. For now I consider it a DNF and I'm very sad about it, but that is Fairest by Marissa Meyer. It was very unfortunate because I was very much looking forward to reading this book, but I picked it up and I realized that I just didn't care because the main character was Queen Levana, a villain, so I hated her, so I honestly didn't care about any of the conflict that was going on because I didn't root for Queen Levana. I didn't feel any sympathy for her. And if you don't feel any sympathy for your main character, I honestly didn't care about anything that was going on. That's why I couldn't get through it and that's why for now I DNF'd it. Please let me know if it's necessary to read Fairest before I go into winter because that's what I was currently struggling with because I really wanted to read Fairest before I read winter but I don't know if it's really necessary so please let me know if you've read Fairest but those were all the books that I have not finished in my life please let me know a book that you DNF'd and don't feel sorry about it and I will see you soon in another video goodbye <laughs>